This bat house will hold anywhere from 150 to 200 bats in it. The bats only are a quarter inch, uh, quarter inch when they land, and they're the size of a quarter when they fold their rings, um, their wings up. For Paul Sedono and his wife Susan, selling bat houses is more than a craft. Like many people around the country, they're concerned about the bat population. Right now, we're trying to get people more aware of the concern with bats and the dwindling, the dwindling bat population, um, especially in New England uh, with white nose syndrome. <laughs> White nose syndrome is a fungal infection that has already claimed the lives of over a million hibernating bats since showing up in North America in 2006. White nose syndrome right now, they don't know what's causing it. I think there's 18 different agencies involved with this. Paul believes that bats get a bad rap. There's two types of people. There's people who are very, very educated about bats. The other ones come up and say, bat house, or I'll call it a bat box. And no questions asked, they'll pick it up and they'll buy it. And then you have the person who goes, bats, ooh, I don't want them. Um, especially people watch these movies where bats attack people, they get rabies. It's almost like they got a bad rap. So you have to talk to these and educate these people about how good bats are uh, to the environment, how good they are. And that's our hardest sale. A lot of people have got into their uh, minds that bats are rabies ridden, they attack people, and they're no good for the environment. And we're trying to educate people that know they're just the opposite. People looking to get rid of bats in their house can uh, give the bats an alternative by putting up a bat house, which will allow the bats to stay in their neighborhood or in their yard. So you're promoting the bats. Um, you definitely do not want to have bats leave your area. Um, you'll see an increase in all types of uh, insects at nighttime. At PNS Country Crafts, they feel that with each bat house they sell, they are helping to spread the positive word about bats and keep them from extinction, a consequence they say would be devastating to the ecosystem. Just recently, we had a couple of sales in uh, Canada, New Brunswick, and Montreal. And we had our first sale up in uh, Maine uh, two weeks ago. The more and more we find about the bats and what they do, is the more aggressive we get in trying to uh, have people become aware of why bats are so um, necessary uh, to people. I mean, they're the ultimate nighttime predator of nighttime bugs. And you can consider that one bat, again, can eat, eat a thousand mosquitoes. That's a lot of bugs. Having a bat house can help protect against West Nile and Triple E as bats eat the infected insects, and it can even save you money. Uh, for the cost of a bat house and a, a couple bats, you definitely could uh, cut down your cost. You can put up at your, you know, at your baseball fields, your soccer fields, you know, any kind of type of field where uh, kids have nighttime sports or daytime sports by setting up a couple of bat houses and attracting bats. There's a good chance you can eliminate a lot of those mosquitoes at, at night and go green, per se, and save the town a lot of money. Everybody can use a bat house. I mean, they're, not only are they good for the farmers to have bats, but for the average person at their house. Because of his strong interest in the conservation of bats, Paul puts a lot of love and care into each and every bat house he makes by hand at his home in Bristol. This here is one of our very first bat houses we uh, constructed. Uh, it's a huge bat house. It holds about 400 bats in this bat, a bat house. And it's a multiple chamber. There's four chambers in this bat house. And how we tell we have bats, we look on the ground, and you look for a little, looks almost like uh, squirrel or uh, mouse poo, if you want to say it. And by looking at that, you could say that you have uh, bats. We started by doing craft fairs, and um, we had very positive results uh, from that. As a matter of fact, a lot of our sales we had were from um, word of mouth. People let know what kind of the product we put out. I use 20 year shingles. What that allows is any kind of water or moisture not to penetrate into the bat house. Bat houses or bats do not like to be wet. They like to be dry. And all of the PNS Country Craft bat houses are made in New Hampshire and certified by Bat Conservation International. It's all locally wood. None of the wood we use is cut down solely to build a bat house. 
Most of this wood we get is from either storm damage or people are removing trees due to safety hazards. Paul says the bats are out there, and by putting up a bat house, you are giving them a place to go, not attracting more. Unlike a birdhouse, a bat house can be put up any time. So um, you prefer to put up early in the season to attract the, the bats that are coming. But you put a bat house up in July and August, the chance of you getting bats is still really good because there's always female and male bats who are roaming around trying to find new places to start. A colonies. He says seeing a bat within the first year are good about 80% if you follow a few instructions. A house should be at least 12 feet above the ground and it shouldn't be mounted on a tree. They don't like flying around any kind of branches. And so people put bat houses on their trees and they don't, the reason why they don't have bats is because you got either got a limb in a way or it's too cool. This is painted black. Black is for New England, which is a very cold zone. Uh, so you want to absorb as much heat as possible. Bats like to be in a bat house that's 95 to 100 degrees. So the, it's painted black to absorb that sunlight during the day. And you want six to eight hours of sunlight uh, for this bat house to work properly. Paul feels so passionate about bat houses and the need to encourage the bat population. He even provides assistance to anyone with questions. His hands-on approach and passion for the mammal is part of what makes his product unique. It's great to sell a bat house. Uh, it's, Knowing that there's another person out there who cares, maybe not as much as us, but is looking to save the bat a population.